Hello to another episode of our Bonedo Vintage Tour. Today's topic is all about concert toms. The kit that we have here is a Premier Mark II Soundwave. The shells are a bit undersized, which basically means that the bearing edge of the head sits in a 90 degree angle to the tension rods. The Soundwave Mark I had the regular diameter shells. Um, Soundwave Mark II was first introduced in 1980 in the 1980 catalog of Premier. And um, yeah, as I mentioned before, the shells are a bit undersized. They are actually very, very, very thin. Um, they consist of, I think, three ply of uh, Scandinavian birch. And the bigger toms from 10 onwards do have beach reinforcement rings that uh, the tom itself doesn't get out of shape. Why shall I buy a concert tom drum kit? Well, <laughs> easy answer, because they simply sound wonderful, at least in my opinion. Concert toms were a bit misunderstood as they were often mic'd up the wrong way and uh, were often muffled to death due to the fact that engineers back in the day were not enjoying the resonance that you get when you hit them. Tastes change, obviously, over the last couple of years and they are now in favor of, uh, yeah, many recording artists. That thing here is an exact clone uh, of the Phil Collins sizes, as I'm a total Phil Collins nerd, and I got this kit for a ridiculously low price a few years ago. Size-wise, we do have an 8x6 concert tom, a 10x7 concert tom, a 12x8 concert tom, a 15x12 concert tom, 16 by 16 and 18 by 16 concert tom and a 20 by 14 inch bass drum. Snare wise, we do have a 14 by 8 Noble and Cooley solid maple shell. And as a second option, we also used my 14 by 6.5 Los Angeles Camco snare drum. Compared to regular tom sizes, the sound itself is less warm, of course. You get a lot of attack. They sound very, very beefy. I should mention that I tried to clone um, the Phil Collins sound as close as possible. So some of the toms here are not absolutely in tune, as Phil Collins like that barking sound of the concert toms. Um, if you tune them, yeah, spot on, you definitely get a much rounder sound. They don't sound as round as um, regular toms now. However, I absolutely like it. They cut very, very well. They are very, very loud. They project very well, which is maybe also um, the reason why famous drummers like Taylor Hawkins from the Foo Fighters, or a Christian Eigner, which is uh, the drummer of Deepish Mode, the live drummer of Deepish Mode, um, use concert toms uh, in a live setting. Headwise, we do use Remo drum heads so on the 8 and 10. We do have Remo diplomats, so very, very, very thin heads. On the rest, we do have Remo ambassadors. On the kick, 
I differ a bit from Phil. I do have a power stroke three clear on it. Phil always used the coded ambassador. However, I'm not a huge fan of ambassador kickheads as they don't give me that punch that I like when playing a, yeah, a bass drum. want to have a concert tom experience you can also remove um, the bottom head of a regular tom however one should be a bit cautious due to the fact that there is a bearing edge on the bottom and the locks here can start to rattle so yeah if you do a record and you want to um, have that particular sound um, be a bit cautious that it doesn't ruin your record our episode here is a way to demonstrate um, the sound of concert toms. Um, I mentioned the name Phil Collins very, very often before. We are probably very, very likely going to do an episode um, about the drums and snare drums and cymbals of Phil Collins um, in particular. As, um, yeah, he's my absolute drumming hero and I did a lot of research um, of yeah gaining the sound that he had on the records and uh, found quite out some information and i do have a lot of his um, equipment which he used back in the day in my snare shelf and in my yeah drum shelves okay that's it for today's episode don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and feel free to comment so if you want to know a detail or if you have any suggestions for our upcoming videos which we're definitely going to do feel free to comment and yeah until then see you next time Thank you.